As we see the images of retaliation because of false city promises, some of us choose them as we take pride in what we own. Some of us kicking back. Say, for instance, if they got a muralist uh, that, that doesn't know anything about Chicano, do you think that he should come in and do it? No. How come? He don't know what he's going to do. He ain't going to know what to put on the wall. He ain't going to know what we want. Something like that. Yeah. Tell you the truth, we should have to, we want ho old English on the wall. Let hey, the boys do it. Hey, and on the wall, all, all our homeboys in the line, right, kind of shit. You know what I mean? Right. Or like on a, one of the paper things that are like folded, all homeboys. <laughs> homeboys that died and the homeboys that are alive. How come? Because that's what we were wanting for a long time. We were going to do it ourselves. If they want to get a mirror, I mean, everybody should just throw in the money, you know. All the homeboys throwing some money to paint. And someone else, an artist, a good artist, a good kind of dude that knows how to draw, get out there and draw, you know, of what's happening on the streets. In reality, people, you know, getting harassed by the cops or whatever. Homeboys expressing their concerns of their family die. Just as on the other side of town, Dixon Street shares its concern with campus police and police in general. So that's how. Uh, campus, and if he sees you walking towards 7 Eleven or something, he stops and searches you because, like, if you can't get down or something, they, they don't stop us. Like, like, if you're just walking in cheese or something, they stop and if they can't get down because they think they're risking something off all the time. All the time. Okay. If they're can't get down, what's all that about? Like, or in khaki, yeah, we're in khakis. You know, they always think that they're stealing things. They're trying to have one. Um, because they think everybody's troll makers because they dress like this. It's just a, a style that Mexicans do. Because young people's concerns are neglected and considered fantasies and imaginations only to be passed on to the younger brothers and sisters. In, in Palmasia, Urasa Gente and Proud. Considered armed and dangerous because of a non-conformist lifestyle, our presence are misunderstood and not respected. We as a people refuse to be intimidated and seek alternatives for our communities because of a non-responsive mayor city council and human service directors as young people's fantasies and imaginations become very very real Especially in mass, if you're serving reason the world to stop talk to them and find out what's going on. Right. Yeah, you know, it's, it's common here with knowledge about all the dope that gets sold here, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. You know about that. Uh, I know you know about that. So 
Because of that, because of past complaints, because of ongoing complaints, we have all the probable cause we need to stop and detain somebody and talk to somebody in this area. Uh, you know, if the kids could get together and beat each other's houses, for instance, or maybe go to the park as long as they keep the dope and the beer out of the park, the beer is illegal in the park, so misdemeanors for us will on site. See, I think one of the problems the kids don't realize is the penal code is full of laws, it's just the vehicle code is full of laws, and you know, there's, there's 6 to 11 different things in there that are enforceable, and a lot of times uh, we just like them to move on so they will make things run smooth in the neighborhood. And we have lots of things to arrest them for if that was our intent. If, uh, say for instance, uh, the child goes from here to someplace else, as long as you're not creating disturbance, as long as you're behaving orderly, which this crowd was, obviously, there's normally not a problem. I'm just saying, if they hang out here, they're going to get talked to sooner or later, and especially in the night hours. During the day, there's a little more leniency. The reason I come by here is because I got details here. Right. The reason I got details is because somebody called who was concerned. I don't have any information. Well, yeah, definitely. Even if it's an anonymous complaint, they don't have to tell us who they are. They don't have to tell us anything. We, we respond to all those calls. So I, I think the kids know what alternatives they have. It's just a matter of you know, exercising that. It's a little, you know, this is a, a culture here, and, and a lot of people die. So on my wife's side, so I, I kind of know what's going on. I'm not totally an outsider, and I try to, you know, pretty much warn the kids and not bother them too much as long as they kind of go with the program. Like we got some fighting came down here, there wasn't really anything going on bad here. Ask them to disperse. Okay. If oh. they don't disperse, then uh, it's up to the complaining party to sign a complaint. Oh, is that right? Sure. Unless I can find something on my own, because I was called here. Mm. If I'm driving down the street, anything I can see is, is fair game. Okay. Well, normally, would you do an FI fine on people? Sometimes, depending on the circumstances. I, I can appreciate the fact that you didn't interfere. I thought that was... Yeah, the gentleman, I, I, I say, you're obviously interested, and I, I'm glad that you can take the time for a few minutes to uh, try to find out for the kids. I think kids need that. That's important today. That's important. Okay, do you, do you have any other questions? Do you have any other questions? My name is Officer Scott. Chicano!